Oh, that's potassium. Oh, wow, okay. And that's lead. Crap, 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 crap. There's exactly what I'm talking about. Hey guys, and welcome back to more 7 Days to Die Alpha 18. We are going to start our permadeath series. I'm thinking I got some settings that we could survive a couple of episodes and we're just gonna continue. We're gonna restart, we're gonna tweak some things and we're gonna get better at things. And of course, you guys can leave loads of comments. Also join the streams when I'm streaming because some of that stuff will be streamed, of course, and edited down for YouTube. So uh, you won't miss anything. Don't worry, I'm not gonna cut anything out, but uh, you might wanna be there live, you know, and pass on your wisdom on some of the perks or any of the tips and tricks that you have. We're gonna try to come up with base designs for the Horde Knight that will work, not just the ramp, but maybe do a couple of variations of it and see if that works. We also want to try out a couple of different builds. We're going to go with Survivalist. I'm not gonna go insane. I was going to go to use insane, but then I was thinking, you know, it should be a couple of episodes at least every time, five or six if possible, before we're gonna break down and cry and at least get to Horde Knight. And we're also gonna have the guys running, not sprinting. Now sprinting means they're literally, I think, as fast as you. Sprint or sprinting is ever so slightly slower than you, I mean, by a little margin. So running means you're a bit faster, which is good for during the day. At night, you're just an ever so slightly tiny bit faster because Nightmare has been changed since the last update for them on Nightmare to be faster than you, which is really good. And we should definitely do a stream where we do that. But I think for a Let's Play, it is more beneficial than that uh, to have it lower. Now, XP multiplier, we are going to put it to 200. I think 300 was a little bit overkill. It would be good. 300 is good when you really have to avoid a lot of times the zombies and you have very little fights and you get XP through other means. But because we want to engage and we want to actually fight the zombies as well in places and loot houses, I think 200 should be enough to get past this hump that we can get a good build together and perks and we can survive. Now, this is only suggestive. This is, of course, our first try let me know in the comments below what you think. Once we have a couple of episodes done, you can probably also get a better idea on what settings would suit this gameplay more. So we leave everything by default on the block damage side, Blood Moon Count. We're gonna turn up to 16. Probably uh, gonna bite myself in the ass with that. And of course, we're marking the airdrops. But otherwise, everything else pretty default. 60 minute cycles is gonna be fast paced. We hopefully will survive long enough for this to be interesting. Anyway. I hope you guys are gonna have a good time with this. The seed is balls to the wall, exactly how you see it there with the same capitalization if you wanna play on the same map. And I hope you guys are gonna have a good time. So let's get started. So we started in the desert, which is absolutely awful, but we want to get a quick start straight away. We don't really need that. We can craft that again. This one we can scrap. Oh yeah, that's the reason why we're here in the desert. So we're gonna get that, we're gonna have that to hit. And straight away, we're gonna go and collect some grass as well. We want to stay away from zombies in the permadeath a little bit, but we also want to fight them. I mean, they're on survivalists, they're on run, so we still theoretically can outrun them and hide behind a building or something, and they're not gonna follow us. So they don't have the feral instinct enabled. So we still can lose them or throw a rock and they follow it and run after it. So let's really quickly do all that stuff. Craft the bedroll, um, stone axe favorite, wooden frame blocks favorite, wooden club. We don't have to favorite because we're not going to be using that a lot. Um, when it comes to specs, um, again, if you guys are watching the stream live, then feel free to you know leave the feedback or leave ideas for specs for anything in the in the in the stream comments. If you're watching it on YouTube, still leave it in the comments. And then when we restart, because we die, we will continue. We'll restart. We can adjust settings and we can um, mess with different specs and try different things out. That's the whole point of it, you know. Until we have something that works. Until we have a formula that works. Okay, so let's place the bed down. I'm waffling too much. Okay, we're gonna leave that. Actually, huh, I don't really want to spawn. Spawn here if I die. Oh no, it's a permadeath. Yeah, of course we're gonna die. Genie Mac, then I don't need the bed actually at all. Yeah, okay. Yep, that's the logic. Yeah, we're playing permadeath, so where do you want to respawn? <laughs> craft, craft. Okay. Definitely get all the birds' nests as well. And oh yeah, we definitely want that for bones. Only four. There was another one here somewhere. Let's go back, actually, pick up the garbage as well. There we go. There's the other one I was talking about. Nice. Look at that. Wow. Okay. There we go. Let's make our bone shift. Sorry, I'm gonna 
have to pay a little bit of attention to this a little bit more than usual. So the waffle is not going to be as um, often wooden club. There we go. Okay. Now, 8.28. We're playing on 60 minutes. If you missed the settings, just go back to the beginning of the video and check it out. And we have to gather wood. We need 10 wood. Now, when it comes to the perks, I think I want to go survival as in cardio, stamina. We're going to be able to outrun them, of course. And then much later, maybe into hiding in the shadows more, sneaking. But not for one-shot attacks. That's not going to happen. So there we go. Okay. Um, favorite craft. Come on. Craft and craft. Excellent. Okay. So I think... We have a very good start. Okay, so we got everything done. Um, just crafting a spear here. And we will have to use our nerd pole kind of strategies as well. Because the zombies will start spawning in very soon. So we have a building over there which is nicely isolated. And we have another town over here. There's quite a lot of towns here. There's a town here. And there's a town over there. So let's definitely get some stone so we can make a lot of arrows. Arrows is going to be everything to us right now. Okay, where's the trader, actually? Let me see where the trader is. The trader is... Oh, there. So maybe we get a green area there. Who knows? It would be nice. <laughs> I think one of the first things we want to do is um, adjust our points. Again, lesson learned from last time. Do not ever stand in an unsafe spot to look at your perk points. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna look through that at night time. The one thing regardless we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go and um, get one point into cardio. We definitely want to increase the stamina Reagan when we sprint. It's definitely one thing we want to do. Now, a fu full fortitude build would probably not go astray. Well, or more fortitude because the brawler, all this would be actually really handy because we're not going to one-shot any zombies. That's not going to happen. So, because we're playing on survivalists. So we're not going to one-shot them. However, there's nothing wrong with being able to close combat the crap out of them so we can actually take them on. Oh. I just heard some flames. Oh, my dear Lord, this gave me a heart attack. I just thought I heard some flames. Okay, we definitely want to get to the trader before nightfall. Oops, before nightfall. So healing factor. You have a fast metabolism, gain one HP. I think that's important. A little bit of self-healing. Self-healing will not work when you're out of food or water. Okay, that's fine. And what is iron gut actually? Stomach health isn't perfect, but it's better than the average wasteland. A reduced food and water loss by 5%. You see, this is all stuff which is good for survival. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. I'm going to do, again, when we restart, we can try different things. And the other thing I want to try, it was the tool sexy saurus. That's what it was. Reduce melee and stamina. Yes. Okay, we're going to do that as well. And then we can have a look at javelin and lucky looter and all that stuff. So I think that would definitely come into play now. We always want to keep an eye out for flat surface because doing um, the wood frame dance is going to be very tricky on a non-even surface. And we might not want to kill all trees completely because the noise of a falling tree will attract actually a zombie in the vicinity. So we can go through most of the tree, but we don't want to get the bonus in the end because that's a very loud noise. Oh, that's potassium. Oh, wow, okay. And that's lead. Crap, 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 crap. There's exactly what I'm talking about. Good zombie. We can actually throw that at him. Because if we miss like that, we can just pick it up again. Oh, my dear lord. The hitbox is quite critical. Okay, there we go. We can float it back up here. Very good. Okay, so they die a lot faster than on Insane, which actually is a bonus. It means less editing for me. <laughs> oh. So we're trying to use our stones a little bit and see if we can get these guys to move away from us. There we go, like that. Just have to be careful. I hate hills. Because there could be a zombie literally on the other side. On the other side. 
Okay, there's a guy there. And again, if we just throw something right in front of him, it should attract him. There we go. Look at that. Nice. Okay. There we go. There we go. And now he's on the ground. And that's the killing one. Excellent. Are we able to get this spear quickly? There we go. <laughs> there we go. Excellent. Okay. So that's these two guys taken care of. And again, they did lower the... Oh, never leave the step. Never not leave a step. Genie Mac. I wonder how much, how many arrows it takes to take one down. On night, on insane, it takes 15 arrows. And there's a couple of houses, very good. We're not gonna go near them yet. That might be too loud. Did it attract him? Eh, maybe. I don't know. Okay, let's take care of him as well. Okay, so this is definitely feeling more manageable than insane, but still challenging enough that if you don't do the right thing, <laughs> you're gonna end up being very, very screwed. Okay, we're getting close, and the rock system seems to be working very well so far. Now, these buildings here, you do want to check them out, because they have no zombies, and they can have lovely little presents right on top there. Excellent stuff. Look at this water bottle. And yes, we got pure mineral water, which is absolutely beautiful. It's literally one of the best, if not the best water you can get in the game. And you can craft it yourself by unlocking those perks. Look, there's a bag over there on this one. So these guys, and there's a medical supply. Ah, oh, look at that. That is amazing in a pinch. Okay, that could have been actually a bit loud. <laughs> there could be a cooking pot in here. And a grill! Genie, Mac, that's the best find you can get. Now we're gonna die. <laughs> oh, my balls. What do we have here? Okay, a sweatshirt. I wear it. I take it. And it's 9-1. Two heat resist. Yeah, that's okay. Seeing that it looks like we're gonna get into the green biome. Oh, the stadium. Holy balls. That's gonna be a tough one. Okay, these birds we just have to keep an eye on. We have another water bottle cooler. Nothing in it though. But what do we have here? Nice, got a bandage. And we're in the green biome nearly, where we're gonna lose the birds, hopefully. Nice. Oh yes, the sound of the green biome. Thank you so much. Let's make sure we kneel down, get a little bit of wood. Let's not destroy the tree completely. Excellent. And that's just because we do not want to make the noise of a falling tree. Definitely not. Okay. That's not the trader. The trader is over here somewhere. I'm not even sure if we're going to make it to the trader on time because we have to be so careful. This house is, is where we died last time when we tried our permadeath. Okay, we have a dude over there. Again, we probably can distract him. And um, we might want to kill him actually for the experience. And there's a lake there as well. That's really nice. Yeah, let's do that. Give me my spear back. <laughs> I need that. I need that to live. Okay. That went well. I'm gonna leave you here just in case. Like things like that, nerd pulling up a wall, Grabbing something out. This is something we're gonna have to do a lot more. We're gonna have to play smart basically. Oh, Egger is a strong bastard 
he will hit our nerd pole thing as well really really hard let's actually try the arrows Okay, I don't know how many that were, but it definitely it was less than 15 and there was a couple of body shots in it and a couple of misses. But I still think it's over 10. <sighs> okay, we found out. Um If it's see if we can if we lost him. Nope, there he is. <sighs> okay, level 2. Another point. Okay, so I think building on the road would be a good idea, but this is right on a hill, so I'm not really sure about that. We might build on the other side of the trader. The trader will kick us out now anyway. So what we might want to do is, yeah, let's do that. This is not good. Actually, that's too close. So we want to be a little bit further over here. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then we can build out this way. But ugh, okay, that's that's temporarily for the night, I think. Gathering wood in the middle of the night might not be my best idea. I could do without the extra sound effects. Hi, yay. Okay. This is good. <laughs> Just like run, run, run. Okay, we have a friend over there. Very good. We're now pack mulet. There we go. We're no longer pack mulet. So this will this will do in general for these type of things, but we do need to come up with a design where we prevent the climbing of zombies on top of each other with a roaming horde or horde and still can actively fight them because there's no way we're going to have enough materials to keep a 16 zombie horde out all night. It's not going to happen. We want to not go into Javelin Mastery because that's just to It does 10% more damage and 10% more range thrown. But I think if we go into Perception overall, we get a higher chance of dismemberment with a spear, which is really what we want. The dismemberment. And I think we're going to use the spear a lot in the beginning. Now, I will probably go into Lucky Looter purely because um, it adds 10 to loot bonus for containers that you open personally. And as far as I understand, loot bonus is for better loot, not for more loot. So we might actually do that just because we want to be able to find more things to sell. And then the next point we're going to put into perception overall or spears directly to be able to craft like a level two spear because I think, let me see. Oh, they already have a slot. Okay, so we actually have a slot. So we're not, yeah, it would give us more durability and less repairs. Um, so we might actually go and do that extra uh, level on the spear first and then go into pure deception, uh, perception. Not pure perception, but then put a point into overall perception. I think one of the changes they did in Alpha 18 is to actually have them follow you. So if we go over here, they will actually come around. So if you have like a row like that, it's really handy because if that block gets damaged, you just go to the next block and that's it. There we go. Beautiful. So we can just go around here and then he will come around. It kind of spreads the damage out a little bit, which is really, really nice. We might actually test out our arrow skills now in a second. Because I think this guy is going to come close. He's only sprinting, so okay, let's go. Ah. Oh, why am I crouching? Holy balls. There we go. 
The reason we want to stay in the same area is um, to make sure that we don't aggro anything else. So, yeah, that wasn't too bad. You know, we, we lost a couple of arrows, but we got some back. So that's okay. Okay, let's go to Trader Joel. And working? Okay, it has a working cement mixer. That's, that's pretty cool. Small stone, cement, okay. Oh, it's not a working workbench. Oh, wow, what was that? Iron arrowheads. That's pretty nice. We sell them probably. <laughs> and, oh, yes, a working chemi station. That is actually pretty sweet. I mean, it's all locked, but still. Glue, cheaper, very good. Paint, very good. Now, where's the forge? There's the forge. Is it a working forge? No, it's not. Oh, nice. There's some nice present. That is really lovely. Because that means repair kits, dude. That's like straight away 13 repair kits if we can get the duct tape for it. Um, yeah, lock picking was one of the suggestions to actually get at least lock picking level one because that way I think you can craft lock picks. So if you get lock picking one level, you can craft them, I think. You can craft lock picks, yeah. And lock picks, I think, are only iron. So if we go lock picks. Let me see. Oh, they are forged iron. Interesting. And in mechanical parts. That's that's interesting indeed. Okay, so let's actually go up to the trader and um, see what we have. Yes. Thank you. Oh, lovely. Exploding arrows. Not quite a rocket launcher, but it will do. Craft exploding arrows and crossbow bolts. Oh, come on. That is a game changer. Let's see what we need for that. Exploding arrows. Oh, we need a workbench. We don't have one. Um, okay, so we need polymer, gunpowder, duct tape, steel arrowheads. Steel arrowheads. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we won't be doing that for a while. Anything you like? Well, it depends. Let's see. Uh, may I see your inventory? So we're going to sell all of these. Thank you. I'm going to sell all of these for now because we can get more. There we go. Uh, we're going to make some gunpowder with that maybe. I don't know. Let's sell it. We sell as much as we can and then we buy what we need. So let's see what we actually have here. Probably right now, absolutely nothing. A mini bike, 12,000. Are you insane? A junk turret. Ah, oh, there's a junk turret. There you go. Little junk turret. Do we have one here as well? A level one? No? Okay. Okay. Anyway. Safe travels. Yeah, safe travels. We're gonna have to find a place now to stay, man. We can only stay in the trader during the day, so... At night, we're gonna have to find a place. What can we buy here? 15, 7, yeah, okay. So I think we're gonna buy one of those. That way we have a bit of food. We're not gonna look too empty. And now we're gonna have to find a place, but... For the guys on YouTube, we're going to do that part next time. So for the guys on YouTube, this will be the first episode of our permadeath. Let me know in the comments any hints, tips, tricks, ideas, anything you can think of uh, that you think would help. I don't want to waste day time. So the idea is that we're going to find a, a crossroad or something on a road because roads are pretty flat usually. Yeah. So if we buy, if we build our first custom base on the road and then go out looting and that's the thing how can we survive looting we're gonna have to find techniques are we gonna go through windows we're gonna try to be as quiet as possible and just loot things not kill the zombies and then as soon as we wake one up just get the hell out and then just try to kill them outside and then go back in i don't even know we're gonna have to figure out a strategy that pro probably should not cost us our lives anyway for the guys on youtube i hope you had a good time i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did remember to kick that like button in the balls and i hope i see you guys in the next video and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time until then as always feel spaß and happy gaming